2024 marks 40 years of the Rue Scholarship. It's going to be epic. In the Rue Scholar, I look for a really polished individual. Oh, we're really looking for a chef of the future. Winning it is quite frankly life-changing. I've seen people compete and then become judges. But the scholar now gets to train in anywhere in the world. But also with that comes a responsibility. And that responsibility is to showcase our industry at the best that we are. The standard is exceptional. It really is an exciting time for the Rue Scholars. Welcome to the Rue Scholarship 2024, live from Coworth Park in Berkshire. Introducing your hosts, Alain Roux and Michelle Roux. Thank you. Thank you. That, that, was, that was really nice. Enjoyed that. Can we do that again? <laughs> Every night. Good. So, good evening and welcome to the Rue Scholarship 2024. This year marks an incredible milestone in the history of the scholarship as we celebrate 40 amazing years. Our fathers started the scholarship in 1984. They wanted to inspire and mentor the next generation. And my cousin and I hope that we've continued this legacy since we took over in 2016. This year also marks the first year that the next generation has stepped up with my daughter, Emily, joining the judging panel for the first time. In 2016, did we get a round of applause when we stepped up? <coughs> no, not even that. Not even that. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyway, so we asked her to reflect on some of her early memories of the scholarship and about her thoughts on joining us this year. It's a very important year for the Rue Scholarship. We're celebrating 40 years. I'm not yet 40, so it's been a while. So this year, I've joined the judging panel, first of all, because it's a massive celebration and we're celebrating these 40 years. But also, I feel like in the time that I've opened my own restaurant, it's been six years, I feel like I'm established somewhat, and I think it's, it's the right time. So we've got some pictures here that are going back even more than 40 years, some of them. So I thought I'd show you through. The scholarship was started in 1984 by my grandfather and his brother, and they wanted to nurture and to promote young chefs. And this is one of my favorite shots. Um, so this is with Albert and Michelle. This is Mini-Me. And this is Aurore, so this is uh, Michelle's first granddaughter. It was very much the event of the year when I was a child. Little old me in such a beautiful, big, prestigious ballroom celebrating chefs, which was what has always been my passion. It was incredible. Tasty food, lots of cheering. I mean, it was, it was amazing. When I was a lot younger, probably around the age of six or eight, and we'd be attending the finals. My father would always tell me, sort of a few minutes before the winner was announced, he would tell me who had won, and I thought it was the most incredible secret to be kept for the whole of two minutes. I am beyond proud to be part of a family that are really looking out for the future chefs and want to promote, nurture, get their career to the next level, within the Rue Scholarship. I'm really proud to be able to continue that legacy and keep going forward. <laughs> some great videos there. Uh, even Definitely. sat when he had hair. <laughs> <laughs> many years ago, I mean, great memories. Um, it's certainly something we need to try, try, treasure mm. and um, yeah I feel proud I feel proud to have Emily here but proud of uh, what uh, our fathers had done Absolutely. and before we continue we would like to say a few thank yous thank you to the Institute of Hospitality who helped coordinate and run the competition thank you to the colleges that hosted us during the regional finals a warm thanks to finalists sponsors and supporters to the scholarship and of course, thank you to everyone who has joined us online tonight. This year, the scholarship has come home, which feels really fitting for our 40th 
year anniversary. For the first time ever, we hosted the final stage of the competition at Alain Roux Culinary School. And I would like to extend a huge thank you to everyone at the school at the Waterside Inn for helping us this morning and for doing the dishes. And a special thank you goes out to Coweth Park and Adam Smith, our 2012 scholar, for hosting us this evening for the very first time. It's a real honour and a privilege to be able to invite the Roof Scholarship to Coweth Park for the award ceremony. When Alan first approached me and asked me, I nearly fell off my chair. Having gone through my own scholarship journey to have all of my industry peers and culinary icons here and in, in my home is a real honor and a privilege. There's many things that influence us when we're creating dishes and creating the menu. Our home here at Coweth Park, we've got 245 acres of amazing landscape, which changes throughout the year from the autumn months and spring and the summer. I think, you know, our style on the plate visually is reflective of the environment that we're in. My thought process on food is that if you cook from the heart, if you cook food that you love to eat and cook food that you enjoy, I think the guest experiences the best of you. To be a Roo Scholar, I don't think can be overestimated. You know, it's given me opportunities. It's got me jobs. If I hadn't won the scholarship, I would not have been given my first head chef's job opportunity. For the dinner at the award ceremony, my main course is actually a tribute to the dish that I cooked uh, in the scholarship final in 2012, which is Turbotan Jubilee. We've taken that dish and made it what is relevant to the modern diner and what's actually feasible in a restaurant. And this dish means a hell of a lot to me through my journey, and I'm so happy to be able to serve it to everybody at the Ecola dinner. As ever, the competition kicked off with our regional finals. Thank you to all the chefs that took part, to, uh, took part. It was a great day with an exceptionally high standard of cooking. Let's look back at the day. Today is so exciting. It's the regional finals and I think the standard is going to be exceptional. The regional finalists were selected by sending in a recipe. This was blind judged and the ones that really got me salivating are in there now cooking. In Birmingham, there are six chefs cooking, but here in London, 12 chefs, and we're feeling the heat. Ah, I'm feeling really nervous. There wasn't a huge amount of sleep had last night. The competitors have two and a half hours to deliver their main course based on the rack of pork, the sweet potato, and two kidneys. And a dessert from our mystery basket. The theme is crepes. I love pancakes. In fact, who doesn't love pancakes? And we've given them some wonderful ingredients to go with that. I grew up on crepes. <laughs> We're looking for sort of an all-rounder. Someone who has that classical element in their cooking. Someone that's composed, works in a clean, efficient manner. A chunk of pork and roast potatoes and cabbage would suit me fine, but I suspect we'll get more than that. If I get a bit carried away on the dessert, I'll go down. We're divorcing, yeah? There's a, a sort of a whole range of, of backgrounds from all the chefs. It's the fourth time for one of our competitors. So we're going to see lots and lots of different styles coming through. Roo Scholar not only has to deliver superb food, but they also have to be a mentor in the making and have that character and spirit that is so important. So, not in order, but going through the final, Jordan Anderson. There was a lot of pressure from the chefs, from the judges, from the camera crew looking around. The, the first hour just disappeared. To win the scholarship, it would be unbelievable. It was stressful, it was sweaty, and my word, the end result was worth waiting for. We've got six really talented chefs, and they are raring to go into the finals. So we have six extraordinarily talented chefs in this year's final who have all worked incredibly hard to be here tonight. Congratulations to you all. As being here tonight is a real testament to your skills and abilities. 
One of the most rewarding aspects of the Rue Scholarship for us is celebrating the success of our scholars. And we so wanted to take a minute to share some of the achievements from this past year. But first, I would like to invite last year's winner, April Lily Partridge, to join us on stage to talk a little a bit about her highlights. April. <laughs> So you've had quite an adventurous year. You've been up to well, doing bespoke training program. Love to hear a little bit about it. Oh yeah, it's been the stuff that dreams are made of, I think. I chose the second option, which was to do more sort of a select thing based around things that I was either really interested in or felt that I had a gap in my skill set. So I started off in the end of last year and I went to Australia for 10 days and I did lots of fishy things because I felt like that was something I really wanted to learn more about. And I spent some time with uh, Josh Nyland. I spent time with Peter Gilmore. Spent some time with Lennox at Fyodor as well, because I love cooking over the grill, which was amazing. And then I just came back very, very early this morning from a week in Berlin, where I learned about Kikau with the two-star team at Coda in Berlin, which was amazing. And I'd sort of spent a little bit of time here and there. I spent some time with William Curley, who was really, really generous with his time, and Willie at Willie's Kikau. Mm -hmm. And then all of like this week and next week, I'm making cheese. I'm going to go and milk all of the, uh, the cows and make some cheese, which will be amazing. <laughs> uh, I'm really excited about that. And I've just started learning about beekeeping. So I'll just do a little tribute to the bees here. Um, and then, yeah, probably one of the ones I'm most excited about is I've got a real, real passion for bread. And July, August, I'm hoping to go to spend three weeks with uh, Richard Hart at his new bakery. And he's been really generous. So he's going to spend time and teach me. So... It's oh, not, been amazing. Not. Yeah, it's like, ah, oh, it is literally like the stuff Dream's made of. I feel like I just had to pinch myself. I can't believe that I won. It's mad. Yeah, so good luck, everyone. It's amazing. Yeah. So not a lot, really. No. No, no yeah, it's, it's not busy, yeah. So thank you so much. Like, you guys really changed my life, and I will always hold it so close to me. It's like the best moment of my life. Like, it's amazing. I think my mum's watched me be a real scholar about 30 times. Every time, she, <laughs> every time she's struggling in the gym, she tells me she watches it to get her through the last pedal. So it's very cute. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even joking. So. <laughs> anyway, yeah. No, it. thank you, Great. April. Thank Amazing. You. Thank you so much. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we Turn the page. It's yours. <laughs> ah. I knew you were going to mix the pages. Uh, I did threaten to. Yeah. I did yours. <laughs> Yeah, so April, thank you very much for that. Uh, sharing is caring. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the other highlights for the year include a very successful scholar educational trip to Sweden in October, where 10 previous winners, along with myself and our team, experienced the very best of the country's culinary offerings and visited a huge range of establishments and sites, from restaurants to pâtisserie, a vineyard, a pole orchid, and even a saffron farm. <laughs> <laughs> Just seen the picture. <coughs> I caught a massive fish. That day. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest sardine ever. <laughs> you were not there. <laughs> no, otherwise it would have been that big. Right, a new Michelin star for Rishi Desai at Farnham Hall, and for and for Dan Cox at Crocodon Farm, a Michelin star. Uh, and that was to add to his green star that he won last year. And the Ledbury won its third Michelin star. So well done to the team there, including. April Lily Partridge, of course. There have been exciting new roles for Oli Williamson, who has moved to Bordeaux, Ugh, France, <laughs> <laughs> and is now head chef at La Table de Montaigne. Mm. Well done. Frédéric Foster is now culinary chef and director at the Gore. Nothing else than that. Well done. Well done. Jonathan Ferguson finished his stage at the French Laundry, 
then return there this month for a new job as sous chef. We hope he's watching. And Andrew Jones has returned to the Caribbean as executive chef of Soho Beach House in Canuan. There are some exciting new restaurants coming from scholars in the next year too. So look out for news from Tom Barnes, Spencer Metziger, Ian Scaramusa, and Harry Guy. I also wanted to mention that this year being our 40th anniversary is also the 40th anniversary of Andrew Fairley winning the very first scholar. Lovely picture of Andrew. Fairley. And we, we do, of course, miss him dearly. Yeah, bless him, Andrew. He's looking down upon us now. He'd love, he'd love it today. Yeah. <laughs> We would like to take this opportunity to thank our sponsors, without whom none of this would be possible. Thanks to Aubrey Allen, Bridor, Musetti, Flying Fish Seafood, Global Knives, Laurent Perrier, Di Macalan, Showerings, Region Seven Seas Cruises, True Foods, Udell, Cowarth Park, Wellox, Braga. Elivir and Saint Hugh. Thank you. We are incredibly honoured this year to have someone very special join us as the honorary president of judges, one of America's most inventive and celebrated chefs. He is renowned for his refined yet simple classic French cuisine and committed to excellence that has inspired chefs throughout the world. He is the first and only American-born chef to hold multiple three-star ratings from the prestigious Michelin Guide. At his landmark restaurants, the French Laundry and Per Se. We're obviously talking about Thomas Keller. It was a pleasure to have him to join our judging panel today. Uh, and during the final earlier today, we have... I'm going to start that again. <laughs> You know what? I'm so bloody excited that he is here with us. That, that, that's why. And, and they were really excited. Happy to help if you need something. Yeah. It was a pleasure to have him join our panel of judges during the final earlier today. And, and to, to have him <laughs> with us this evening. And to have him with us this evening. That's what you wanted to say. Thank so, you, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage <laughs> Chef Thomas Keller. <laughs> I feel like I'm standing between Laurel and Hardy. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure all of you know who those they were, but um, who's, who's Hardy? Yeah, you're Hardy, right. and he's Laurel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's okay though. Um, but uh, thank you for that glorious and well-spoken introduction. <laughs> you guys should should find a new job. <laughs> yeah, there's a TV program somewhere in the. Is there? Oh, okay, yeah, all right. I, I well, that's so. good. That's good. So. Um, first of all, I just want to say thank you for for inviting me here. Um, it's been a long time coming. I know the invitation has come several times in the past. I've not had time to do it, but I am really honored, proud, um, and, and, and certainly um, a fantastic moment. I want to thank Mitch Mitchell, who also kind of nudged me along in this process uh, to make sure I came on this side of the, the pond. And, and he, 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 uh, he plied me with some uh, golf. <laughs> so that's why I'm really here is to golf. But I thought I'd make this trip along the way. No, seriously, Law, but thank you very much. Uh, it's, uh, it's proud to be here for the 40th anniversary of the Ruth Scholarship, uh, an extraordinary moment in time when it began. Uh, both of your fathers ha has done, have done such an extraordinary uh, thing for the young culinarians here in, in the UK. And so each one of you here tonight are part of the legacy of the, this, these gentlemen's fathers, and I'm, I'm so proud of that. I remember getting my first cookbook um, from, from the Rue Brothers, uh, and one of those fantastic books, but thank you. I wanna thank all the judges who were with me today. 
um, including Sat. I mean, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> But, uh, you know, making sure that, I, that he understands that I did appreciate the moments of time, the moments in time that I had with him. Um, so thank you. Um, I want to thank, certainly, uh, the, young, the young chefs. And we spoke about this earlier today. Um, all of you are, are, are wonderful culinarians. Uh, the things that impressed me the most about each one of you is the confidence that you had uh, to step forward, uh, to, to compete. Uh, to write that first letter, that first recipe that was viewed by these gentlemen, and, and you, you were deemed worthy of coming to compete in the 18, uh, and then being chosen with the work that you did, did both in London and Birmingham. Uh, that confidence is, is, is apparent, but really what really impresses me the most is the courage that each one of you have to actually step in that arena uh, and, and do the work. I am, not, I am sure, I, I, I was going to say I'm not sure I would do it, I am sure I would not have done that. Um, but I, I really appreciate the work that you did today. And uh, each one of you should be very proud um, of the work that you did today. Being there with you and watching you, uh, it was extraordinary. Your, your abilities, um, your patience, um, your, the, the work ethic, the determination, the commitment that you had to your craft uh, is evident to each one of you. I know that it's, uh, it's going to be a great night. Um, for all of you, one of you in, in specifically, but for all of you, and you should be proud uh, of what you did uh, tonight. So with that, um, I think that, um, yeah, I think we're good, right? Yeah, good. Yeah, we're, we're, I think we're good. We're going to ask you uh, to stay here. Oh, you're going to ask me to stay ask here? Ask to stay here. And okay. Because I messed oh, up earlier, yeah. I missed to say there's a VT to watch as well. Oh, okay. So we're going to watch the VT. You can stay here. What's the VT? Video. Oh, video. There's a lovely video of you. <laughs> what to say about Thomas Keller? <laughs> Thomas Keller is the pinnacle, I would say, of world-renowned chefs. To have him head the panel of judges as honorary guest, we support. The French Laundry Cookbook's kind of the Bible. I first went to the French Laundry 20 years ago uh, for a stage. Working there, I would start as early as I could and finish as late as I could to suck up every single minute that I could be in that kitchen. And he has continued to be such a huge inspiration to me and still is today. I'm ecstatic to meet him, really. <laughs> Having him walking around and potentially watching me cook, that's going to be something that I just, you can't prepare for. Am I, am I no, no, you no, stay. No. Just stay. You can stay here. You're, you're, you're not friends <laughs> yet. Okay, okay. Uh, Laurel and Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, our scholar will win up to £12,000 for their career development and a host of incredible prizes, including... A trip to Paris, courtesy of Bridor, to attend a three-day advanced course at the Le Nôtre School, including travel and accommodation. A guided meet and greet tour of Flying Fish Seafoods in Cornwall with a trip out on a rib in St. Austell Bay to the Deep Sea Mussel Farm and or a visit to Portilly Oyster Farm. Plus, dinner for two at Paul Lainsworth's number six Padster. A bottle of the Macallan Sherry Oak 18 years old whiskey mm. plus an educational trip to the Macallan Distillery with the five other national finalists. An all-expenses long, long weekend trip to the Napa Valley in California with True Foods to eat at <laughs> the French Laundry in Yachtville and visit some of the best vineyards and sites in the area. Um, have you heard of that place, uh, Thomas? I think so. Yeah? yeah? It kind of rings a bell. It kind of rings a bell. <laughs> oh. An all-expenses paid trip for two to the Champagne region of France, to visit Laurent Perrier's Chateau de Louvois, to include a vineyard visit, a tour of the cellar, and an exclusive tasting of a range of Grand Siècle iterations, as well as lunch or dinner at the Chateau. The winner will join a group of other guests visiting for an experience Grand Siècle, date to be confirmed, if you can't do it, I'll go. <laughs> Travel by Eurostar, if it gets there, yeah. and overnight accommodation provided. Yeah. <laughs> Often. <laughs> One of our six finalists will win the title, Rue Scholar 2024. But before we make that announcement, let's find out a little bit more about them all. 
So if I would win the scholarship, that would be the biggest achievement, the best achievement of my career. So I really enjoy to cooking like French cuisine and British as well. It takes a lot of its skills. For someone that's cooking in a bar and a grill, it was a level on top. I'm feeling really, really excited. When I was uh, little, I ended up in the kitchen. And that got me into improvising and trying new things. And my parents always were wondering where all the butter was gone. Evelina's pork dish was really complex. There was so much work there. But she delivered on time and with bags of flavor. Obviously, coming from Canada, it's definitely out of my comfort zone doing something like this in another country. I'm working at Alex Dilling at the Hotel Cafe Royale. We're pushing for three Michelin stars, so hopefully we get it this year. Exciting to come into work and feel that every day. And I'm so pleased that Ben is working in that brigade. He's a well-deserved finalist. Hard work pays out. Liam from Restaurant Pine in Newcastle gave us a dish that was a lot of work. The sauce was light, but had so much depth of flavor. Perfect. I have like a pretty good work-life balance now. Like recently engaged, got the fiance, buzzed to get to the final. Really proud just to got this far. Harrison's pork dish was sublime, and it was sitting on a bed of stewed nettles, which was just bang in season. We do quite a lot of foraging in the restaurants, and like where we live is amazing. So I go for like like loads of walks and pick loads of bits obviously for the restaurant to use. So I picked all the nettles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, numb fingers the whole day, but. <laughs> Jordan is a young chef from the brigade of Simon Hurston. I like to cook with vinegar. One of my chefs, Ricky, has taught me that vinegar plays a large part in seasoning, which might have helped me today. <laughs> what would it mean to me to win? Uh, it would mean everything, really. It's a massive opportunity to become a Roo scholar. Uh, to be able to get through at this round is, is really an achievement. They deserved it. They nailed it. Thank you to the, the team of judges at both the regional finals and the final. Vice Chairman, Chef Brian Turner, always present, always there. We love you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Chef André Garrett, uh, Chef Sat Baines, Chef Claire Smith, Chef James Martin, Chef Simon Hurston, Chef Rachel Humphrey, Chef Angela Hartnett, and the best for last, Chef, <laughs> Chef Emilio. Thank you once again to everyone at Cowarth Park and the Alain Roux Culinary School. And to all the team in the kitchen for making sure the competition ran so smoothly. And thank you to our communications manager, Carolyn Boyd, and event coordinator, Carolyn Witz, as well as the team at Stepping Stone Media. It is, <laughs> it is nearly time to find out who is this year's winner. Let's take a look at how our finalists performed in today's challenge. This is the Rue Scholarship Final 2024, our 40th anniversary, and we're here at the Waterside Inn. We're just back home, quite emotional. Morning chefs, it's really, really great to have you here. For the Rue Scholarship 2024 final, the dish that we want you to cook is a poached rainbow trout with Carlingford oysters. Today, I'm hoping to see the precision in the cooking of the trout and the way they're going to complement the oyster with the dish. So today is your day, today is your opportunity. And so embrace that, embrace that in a way that's going to display your skills, your knowledge, your experience, and all of you have that today. So thank you, uh, and good luck. Feeling okay, just uh, trying to get my head around it. A bit excited and nervous as well. Uh, nervous, yes, yeah, really nervous, but yeah, excited to get in. Trying to remain as calm as possible and get in there and just cook, do what I know. Ready to go, just excited to start cooking, really. Just got to use the time well and get everything right, I suppose. Watching the young chefs for the past hour has certainly reinforced the commitment, the dedication, the purpose uh, of what they're doing, and it's pretty spectacular. In the kitchen, it's pretty nerve-wracking, to be honest, but it's supposed to be nerve-wracking. It, it is the best competition of its type anywhere in the UK. If they're not nervous, then you're in the wrong room. <laughs> to be honest, I'm just really glad I made it this far, you know. <laughs> 
think I've done all like little Russian priority. I'm gonna try and keep it fairly simple. Get the flavors right, get everything technically right, be up on time. That's it, really. I'm hoping to showcase what I can do, make tasty food, and just impress the judges with it. Well, I would like to just cook the best what I can and hoping for some good feedback from all the great chefs. I would just execute the plan properly, make sure everything's seasoned well, tasted good, and yeah, make sure it looks nice on the plate. I'm hoping to win. <laughs> Worked really hard to get to this point, so it'd be a shame to uh, not follow through right at the end. So It was incredibly high standard. It's a huge opportunity for them. I think winning the Rue Scholarship would be amazing for, for any of those candidates. It's a life-changing experience, you know, without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, on a, on a personal note, it really was extraordinary. Well done. Well done to all of you. I mean, the commitment and the, the bravery, as Thomas said there, was, was exceptional. Yeah, fantastic. Well done. Well done. Um, I'm going to let Thomas do the honours. <laughs> the envelope. Can we just, one more time, because... Uh, <laughs> You all should be very proud of what you accomplished today. Yeah. Um, certainly this will live with you for the rest of your life uh, and will continue to influence what you do and how you mentor the next generation because each one of you will become a mentor one day. Uh, I am sure of it, so congratulations. Okay, and here's the moment in time. And the winner of the Rue Scholarship 2024 is Carol Brock. a few words <laughs> go on go on <laughs> well i would like to thank so all, all the Roo family for such amazing opportunity it was such an amazing great day today it was beautiful i'm glad judges like my dish and also i would like to sh thank you chef nick and chef tom carriage for support <laughs> thank you thank you that's for you and not to forget. Woo! Right, actually, yeah, you have that one. <laughs> <laughs> Could you give them their certificates? They will get over here. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. À toi de jouer, mon ami. If you now feel inspired to enter the Rue Scholarship or know someone you think should enter, then don't forget. The next competition launches in November. Details of how to enter are on the website. But for now, thanks for joining us and congratulations once again to the 2024 Rue Scholar. Fantastic, that rounds it up for tonight. I think we've got, yeah, we've got a party to go to. Um, what I'm gonna ask is for the sponsors and the judges to stay here because we need to do a few photos. All of the rest of you can make your way back to the dining room and find your seats, please. Uh, and one more little thing, after dinner, the McAllen has arranged for a little... A big. A big. <laughs> 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 a big drink, <laughs> after dinner drink, in this room. So if you want to make your way after dinner to here, there's a lovely little cocktail waiting for you too. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Well done, people.